In a world where only a handful of athletes can make a living as a pro triathlete, Conrad Stolz, a four-time Xterra world champion, takes time out to visit the family farm in South Africa. I used to come out here and I'll have what you call ice cream and beer season. <laughs> and I wouldn't consider any training at all. Conrad knows he has to maintain excellent physical condition, even when the environment is not ideal. Three years ago when I started training with Ian Roger, my current coach, um, the training <laughs> approach uh, changed dramatically. I, I really cut back on my volume and I trained much, much less than I did before. He said I should just keep a relatively constant level of fitness all year round. And he says if you do the science right, you don't have to train that much. And we're able to, to race year round. So the last three years I've been racing the South African season and the American season. Of course, the seasons are inverse. So being a professional athlete and training in the same place day after day after day gets extremely tedious. So getting a change of scenery and being able to visit your family and being in this beautiful surroundings and um, relaxing atmosphere is, is amazing. Being a professional athlete doesn't always mean that life is glamorous and easy. The caveman, as he is known, has a solution for most situations. I have to make plans around the handicaps of, of living here. Oh, it's not really a handicap. It's, I actually embrace it to the extent that it's, um, it's a different environment and you have to improvise. And I used to ride the motorbike about 10k down the dirt road and I used to swim in farmers' irrigation dams. And the dam was, the one I used, was using was about 180 meters long. And uh, it was pretty good swimming. Um, sometimes it's a good bit chilly and then you wear a wetsuit and it was fun. And of course swimming being relatively important, you can't lose your, your fuel for the water really. In an attempt to overcome the commute from the farm to the dam, one of his most creative solutions involved turning his mom's garden into a pool. So I had to start traveling further and further to, to find open water swims and I thought why not just dig a trench in front, in front of my mom's garden. <laughs> and um, it needs to be as shallow as possible so that the water can heat up um, relatively easy. It took me two, two summers, actually three, year, three years before I actually had finished the pool. Renowned for being the strongest biker in any ex-terra race, Conrad has his own ways of developing skills on the farm. Um, so when I do go mountain bike, I just play. Um, I'll see something next to the road, and I wonder, uh, I wonder if it's possible to ride to ride that, and then um, I'll pick something rocky or something steep. I think it's a great way to develop skills, especially low speed um, technical riding. It's, um, it's it's playful, but also cardiovascular. You, you benefit from it and. Arguably his weakest discipline, Conrad runs the same road over and over and over. I've been running this road since I was um, seven, eight years old when I started athletics at school. So to me it's a tradition. I don't even consider going anywhere else. So I've literally run on this little road all my life. In the next episode, when hit by tragedy, the Stolz family has to rely on each other for comfort. The farm comes to a standstill and Conrad has to step up and fill some large shoes. Yeah.